Hey guys, Nick here, Last Stop Reviews, coming at you today with a case review. Now the case I am reviewing today is called the iFrog Lux, and guys, I really like this case, and as a little bit of a testament of how much I like this case, here you go guys, I have three of them already. So, I really just want to go straight, jump into the review, get you guys up to the close-up camera, let you see the ins and outs of this case and why I like it so much. Now, there are a few downsides to it, but the good definitely outweighs the positive on this case. Sorry, the good definitely outweighs the bad on this case, and I'm going to show you why right here on close-up cam, right about now. Okay guys, as I was saying, this is the iFrog Lux for the iPhone 3G. And as you can tell, I do not have a microfiber down, but it, I have my phone laying on the face. The reason for that is this phone gives you pretty good land the table design for the front. The back, not so much. It's going to wobble, it's going to tip, mainly because of that little locking feature right there. Now. As I've told you guys in the beginning of this film, I really like this case. The eye holes, the, sorry, not eye holes, the camera holes, standby headphones, and volume and silent switch are cut out really well. One th issue, though, is the back is cut out too much to the point where if that's riding around in my pocket, you guys can see that's a lot of exposed backing. They could have definitely cut that down some because even when it's on silent, there is still a good probably full centimeter right there where it's definitely overhanging. Another thing that I'm not so fond of is, you guys, as you guys can see, there's definitely a gap that comes through here, which I don't know if that will eventually start lining up better, but I've used this for about a week and a half now and still no go with that. But I think it's the main thing I like about this case is the design on it. But aside from design, it definitely can take an impact. I was unfortunate enough to drop my phone the other day. It did fall three or four feet, and hopefully you guys can see it's still in awesome condition. Yes, the chrome shows on this, but because of the lay on the table design, it's not an issue. My bezel is still in awesome condition. It's not scratched up at all. And I was kind of nervous about that at first, but once I saw that it really does a good job protecting it, it wasn't such an issue. But the one thing I really like about these cases is really the amount of color you can get with it without really a lot of sacrificing protection, kind of overkill. But as you guys can see, I have the blue, the red, and the silver. I might do a giveaway on these in the future because I might get to the point where I don't want three of them. But for now, guys, I really do like this case and I like the colors that come with it. It's a metallic look, as you guys can see, and I just really think it sets the phone off really nicely. But, let me take a quick second peek at my cheat sheet here, because as you guys have known from my recent videos, I just have, I've just have been going through quite a few cases, and I just want to make sure I'm as efficient as possible. But, one thing I was saying that it does take a little bit of time to get it to fit well. Um, it, the gap is slowly decreasing, but not enough where it's fully snapping shut. So this, I don't know if you guys can see it, it's kind of difficult, but the little locking mechanism does stick up just a little bit. A, another thing I mentioned is there's too much room behind the volume. And last thing I said for a con was there's just, lay on the table design with the back, it's just, it's wobbly, but with for being a slider case and it kind of does lock, that is definitely not something that is a huge downturn. But guys, just go quick overview for the through the pro list. I've hit most of these. Is it's, it's got a really nice design. It, the case is nice looking. The box it comes in is very eye catching. It really pops off the shelf at you. Uh, the buttons are very easy to access. They're cut out extremely well. Let's see what else. It is a very um, it's a very is in fact very soft plastic. Um, I know I say it is in fact very soft like someone just said it, but I mean really as far as like softness goes, it's very smooth, almost to the point of being like microfiber smooth and soft. But um, slider style, so if you do have a iPhone 3G dock, you can easily slide the bottom of this off, dock it in, and you're good to go. And last thing is it does not show scratches and scuffs. I actually took my keys to this case. I figured I've got three. If I lose one, no big concern. I took my keys to it. I ran them across the back. 
And guys, as you can see, no scratches, no scuffing. So this case can definitely take a beating and come out the victor on it. But last positive thing, guys, is if you're like me, you've been through the NK sliders, you've been through plenty of sliding cases that make your screen shields pop up like that. This isn't going to do it, mainly because of the fact that it's not getting to the screen shields. That could be a negative for some of you, but I really consider it a positive just because of how expensive screen shields can be. If you aren't like me and go through five cases a month, if not more, and have a supply of screen shields at this point. But if you're one of those people who go out, you buy the bodyguards, you buy the, uh, what's another big one, Zag, and you really don't want these getting pulled up. A lot of slider cases aren't going to be a really good option for you because they really do pull up cases a lot. The iFrogs is not one of those. It protects the screen shields very well. It doesn't pull them up at all, and I really think it's a great case, guys. I would recommend this to anyone. I really would. I, I know I listed off quite a few cons, but of those cons I've listed, they are very nitpicky, guys, as far as cons go. I could have gotten... There's a lot worse things I could have said and I have said about other cases. But overall, guys, I really like this case. As you can tell, I have three of them, which it's, it's the first case I've bought multiples up. But guys, this is just my thoughts on the iFrog Lux, my review on it, and I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will catch you guys later.